I know what you're thinking. I have washed this shirt since the last video. <laughs> So less than an hour ago, Tesla held the official launch event for the Model 3. And in case you missed it, there were a few juicy details that Elon Musk uncovered. The event was streamed live on Tesla.com and it was an amazing event, not only because of the cars, but also because of the people. The people were really highlighted. It can be easy to take for granted all the hard work that goes into making something from nothing. So congratulations to all the presenters, congratulations to the winning commercial, even though I like the astronaut one better. And congratulations to everyone at Tesla who put all the hard work into making the car a reality. This was a monumental event and a significant milestone in history. The launch of the Model 3 marks the first ever mass market commercial launch of a fully electric car that is affordable, has the range of a gas car, is faster than most gas cars, and looks great too. Incoming controversy, those other ones don't count. The bolt is ugly and the leaf has terrible range and is really slow. I could go on, but I'd rather talk about the updates that Elon just gave to the Model 3, so let's check them out. The first thing I noticed was all the different color options that were available. Elon had 30 Model 3 cars lined up on superchargers, eagerly awaiting the delivery by their new owners. So at least from the cars that we could see there that were lined up for their new owners, it looked like the colors that are gonna be offered at least at first are silver, gray, black, blue, white, and red. Next, Elon went on to talk about the safety of the Model 3. He actually compared a crash test to that of a very safe Volvo, and it appeared that the Model 3 performed better, at least in that individual crash test. Now, Volvos have a reputation for being a very, very safe car. So the fact that we're comparing Teslas to Volvos is a great thing. Now for the part that everybody's very interested in. The zero to 60 times were announced for the initial release of the Model 3s. Now for the past year, we haven't known exactly what the zero to 60 times were gonna be. All we knew was that they were gonna be under six seconds. We didn't get the actual battery sizes. Elon just put the cars into two categories, a standard and a long range. The stats on the standard configuration are zero to 60 in 5.6 seconds. The range is 220 miles and the maximum speed is 130 miles per hour. It's pretty good. But when you go to the long range configuration, that gets even better. The zero to 60 time quoted for the long range version was 5.1 seconds. The range was 310 miles and the top speed was 140 miles per hour, 10 miles an hour faster than the shorter range version. Now, keep in mind, all of these stats are based on the single motor or two wheel drive configuration. And that leaves a little bit of room for speculation, which according to all of you in the comments, I love to do. So let's go ahead and do that right now. <laughs> so if we assume that the long range car has a bigger battery, which is a pretty safe assumption, and it goes from zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds at two wheel drive, it's safe to assume that there's some time to be shaved off there by a couple things. Number one is adding four wheel drive. So that typically, if you look at the configurator for the Model S right now, it only shaves 0.1 second off the 75 to the 75D. Um, but it is something, so it's worth considering. So the second thing to consider is the performance model. That's not gonna be released until next year, but that's definitely gonna shave some additional time off the zero to 60 as well. And the last thing is ludicrous mode. It wasn't clear whether the zero to 60 times quoted were with or without ludicrous mode. So that remains to be seen. If we play the optimistic game for a second and assume that the 5.1 zero to 60 time for the longer range configuration doesn't include ludicrous mode, then I'm going to guess that when you combine four wheel drive with a performance model and ludicrous mode, optimistically, I want to say 3.2 seconds is a reasonable assumption for the zero to 60 time. And then maybe 3.5 is more of a realistic assumption. But I definitely think we're going to see a bottom end zero to 60 time for the model three somewhere in the mid to low three second range. After that, and a few gracious thank yous from Elon, he just walked off the stage. The configurator still is not live yet, at least as of 10 o'clock on Friday night, which is about an hour after the event ended. And that means that we can't figure out what the battery sizes are actually gonna be yet. We don't know what the options offered are gonna be for sure. There's a lot of information that we still don't have. I was expecting a lot more. I think a, a lot of people were expecting a lot more information out of that uh, event than we actually got, but 
We'll just have to wait for a future event uh, to get more information. And I'm sure now that there are 30 live Model 3s floating around out there, there may be some leaks, there may be some information floating around, so we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and wait that out. Uh, meanwhile, all you other Tesla YouTubers are probably test driving the Model 3s right now. You. <laughs> but that allows me to make this video first while you guys are all galvanting around out there. So, <laughs> you know, seriously, Trevor, Ben, Bjorn, like Tesla, all you guys, super happy you guys got to attend and share with us how the test rides went. We can't wait for it. All right, super quick video tonight. I still have to edit and post this, so I'm gonna get going. Thanks guys, as always, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Silver, gray, blue, black, red, and green. Green? White. Not, God, it's, it's getting late. It's been a long night.